My goodness, where has time gone, man? Listen, it is almost springtime. Seems like we just got to winter. Anyway, where I live here geographically, we're going to be, uh, the temperature is going to be up in the 80s next week, so. It's already <laughs> springtime, almost. Let's talk about it. What's going on, YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, man. Spring is almost here. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about this week some fragrances that i am looking forward to wearing this upcoming spring so this week i'll be doing my top 10 uh, niche spring fragrances that i anticipate wearing as well as the designer list will drop as well so let's get into it if you're new to this channel i talk about men's fragrances and i actually dabble in the fashion as well because that's the way you can kind of be the complete package in my opinion man you look good and you smell good so if that Sounds like something that you would be interested in. I hope you won't mind subscribing to the channel and click the bell icon as well to be notified anytime I upload new content. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and run the intro. And when I come back, I'm gonna be talking about my top 10 niche spring fragrances for 2023. This is gonna be a good one. So if you wanna see what's on the list, you know how we rock. Keep it locked. That rhymed right here. <laughs> The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into the list. I have three quick honorable mentions, and I will tell you why they're honorable mentions really quickly. The first one is from the House of Chanel, the less exclusive uh, collection, which is their more expensive range. And I told you I don't know where to really put these. They're more expensive than your typical designers and, of course, to me, a little bit more well done than a typical designer fragrance. But so, anyway... Sycamore. This is a green, woody fragrance. And again, the best fragrances that I could compare this to is probably going to be Creed Spice and Woods and um, French Lover from Frederick Mall. All three of those fragrances have a very similar scent DNA to me. So because of the classification of this one, I'm just going to put it as an honorable mention. Again, it's from the House of Chanel. This is called Sycamore. Uh, my next honorable mention... Guys, you know I don't put my fragrances on a list, but if you don't got this yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Perfect time to wear it. This is my collaboration with Novitas Parfum. This is called O Devil Nair, and this is a very, very Devil Nair fragrance to wear in the springtime. If you don't have this yet, just look at the bottle. It screams springtime. It's an amazing scent. Guys, you gotta get this one in your collection, of course. From Novitus, that's mine, Old Devil Nair. And then this one from Argos, man. If you want a gentlemanly fragrance to wear this spring, check this one out, man. This is the original Argos Pour Homme uh, from the House of Argos. And I love the gin note in here. This is a very, of course, green, fresh, uh, woody fragrance. I think all guys should have this in their collection. So an honorable mention goes to this one as well from the House of Argos. This is called Argos Pour Homme. All right, guys, now coming in at the Tim spot, this fragrance comes from a brand called Juice Box, which is a brand that I haven't really talked about on this channel, but they have some amazing offerings. This is one of the best, and it's perfect for the springtime. This one is called Cheeky Smile. This one is called Cheeky Smile. Guys, if you don't have this, get it. Buy it, buy it, buy it, or at least get yourself a sample. This one actually was sent to me from Twisted Lily which if you guys don't know about Twisted Lily, they are an online fragrance boutique that sells some amazing fragrances. Now, a lot of them you can actually get samples. And of course, I have a discount code. If you wanna use my code, I'll make sure I have a special link that I will link to the video and use the code BOWTIE10, you can get 10% off of your order. But guys, you gotta get this one in your life. Cheeky smile. I cannot tell you how good this is, okay? It has vibes of Baccarat Rouge 540, and also Molecule 01. <laughs> Listen, so combine Molecule 01 and Baccarat Rouge 540. Isoe Super and Embroxin are two of the main notes of this. It's just one of those magical fragrances. And just like 
Baccarat sometimes is just like Molecule or one Sometimes you think it's not there, but people in your radius pick it up. This stuff is it's phenomenal. I'm serious. Get this one, guys. Get a sample of it at least from the House of Juice box. I'm going to do a full review on this, but this stuff is perfect for the spring. This is called Cheeky Smile. All right, now coming in the ninth spot, coming in at the ninth spot, I should say this fragrance comes from the house of Amwaj, and this is called Portrayal Man. Portrayal Man. Now, this particular fragrance is one that when I initially just put the itemizer to my nose, I was it wasn't a fragrance I gravitated towards, but now because my fragrance has palette has changed, I love this fragrance. This is one of the most quintessential, uh, when I think of spring fragrances, one of the most quintessential spring fragrances in my collection. There are certain notes that you will find which of course are classified as green notes. And green notes are fragrances that are reminiscent of fresh cut grass, kind of herbal, to me as well, kind of uh, smoky things like galbanum. But, but anyway, especially the note of violet leaves. That is probably one of the most quintessential uh, spring notes or notes that's found in fragrances that I think are really great for the spring, I would say. And this is full of violet leaves. Violet leaves, as well as vetiver, and then you get a smokiness from Cade Oil. Again, I love this stuff. It starts to get a little bit powdery when it dries down, but I absolutely love this fragrance now, and it's perfect to wear for the spring. And I wanna make sure I pay special attention to what I'm rocking and get this in this spring. It's from the house of Amwaj. I love this stuff. It is called Portrayal Man. All right, guys, now coming in at the eighth spot on the list this year, uh, this is a fragrance from the brand Perfume Aroma, and this one is called Batito Di Ali. Batito Di Ali. And uh, what you're basically going to get with this one is a combination of orange flower. All right, so it's a sweet floral note, so you get that. You're going to get a little bit of vanilla in here, So, but it's not overly vanilla, but you get some vanilla, and you're also going to get, um, on the base of this, you get a little bit of that... How would I describe it? <sighs> kind of tropical vibe, I would say, that you get from this that's coming from coconut. Very unique pairing, but you got a little bit of coconut and a slight bit of chocolatey cacao in here. But I'm telling you, it's perfect. It's balanced very well between the florals uh, in this, as well as those a little uh, what I would call sweeter nuances. Um, but listen... The neutralizer here again is the note of coconut, which gives that slight tropicalness to this fragrance. And I think it makes it perfect once everything kind of combines together uh, to wear in the springtime. So I'm looking forward to rocking this one again. It's from the house of Perfuma Roma, and this is called Batito di Ali. All right, guys, now coming in at the seventh spot, I always have to have one that is very, um, very uh, gentlemanly, one that can be dressed up. Um, and this one comes from the house of Erosia Parfums, and this is called Harrods Parfum Pour Homme. Again, guys, when you think about the season of spring, in most, people, most people's minds, if we had to ascribe a color to spring, I think it would be green. Again, green notes, green fragrances, and I think when you look at this bottle, it's kind of a dead giveaway. Of course, that this would be the perfect green fragrance to wear in the springtime, this stuff is absolutely phenomenal, man. Or as only Roja could, Roja could do in a very traditional, classy way. Some of the main notes in here, you're going to get some vetiver. You're going to get oak moss in this as well. And juniper berries. So the juniper berries in here is very, gives that kind of piney, balsamic nuance uh, in the opening of the fragrance. Uh, there's some spices in here as well. Some lemon, some lime to kind of give that freshness in the opening. Dynamite fragrance. Check it out, guys. It's from the house of Roger Parfums, and this one's called Harrods Parfum Pour Homme. All right, guys. Now, the next fragrance up on the list coming in at the sixth spot. This fragrance comes from the house of Bodicea the Victorious, and this is called Consort. Consort. Now, this is a fragrance that I did a full review on. If you have not seen it, I'll make sure I link it. Um, and in my review, I talked about uh, this does have a Creed Aventus kind of feel to it, but I think it's more of a cross between Aventus and Hachivat from Nishane. Okay, it's, it's more of a of a blend of those two fragrances. And it's just phenomenal, man. Like I said, I do, did a full review on it. So I'll make sure I link it. But there are some notes in here as well 
that I would say um, that lend itself to being more of a spring uh, dominant fragrance. You have this bergamot opening. So it doesn't have pineapple, but it has a bergamot. It has some lime in here, uh, which is something I've talked about before. Um, it does have some vetiver uh, in this one as well on the dry down and clary sage. So those are the notes that I think lend more to this being a spring fragrance, but it's phenomenal. It's just phenomenal, guys. Put your nose on it from the house to Boto State of Victoria's. Again, this one is called Consort. All right, guys, coming in at the fifth spot, this fragrance comes from the house of Fragrance Dubois, and this one is called Solstice. Solstice, guys, this is one you got to get your nose on. This is so well done. Out of all the fragrances on the list, I think this one is so mass appealing. It smells phenomenal. Oh, man, the opening of this fragrance is what is to die for. You have this uh, note of apple. Um, and I just love the opening of the fragrance with that apple, man. So photorealistic. But it's also got some spicy nuances going on uh, in this fragrance as well that I absolutely love. Uh, there's some pink pepper uh, in this. And um, when it dries completely down, you're going to get that better burn here. Guys, you got to get your nose on this one. Get your nose on it. It's phenomenal. It's great for the springtime. One that will put a smile on your face. It's from the house of Fragrance Dubois. And again, this is called Solstice. All right, guys. I'm coming in at the fourth spot. Um, these top four are a little bit more familiar fragrances. Uh, but this one comes from the house of Zierjoff. And this one is called 40 Knots. 40 Knots. Um, there's been a lot that's been said about this fragrance. If it's been good, it's been true. <laughs> One of my favorites. So good. So good. There's something a little bit powdery with this. There's an aquatic feel, kind of salty, sea salty aquatic nuance, but it has some very green undertones. And like I've said before, there's something in this fragrance that I think makes it great for almost every season. All right. So when you think about spring, which I think is probably the best place to put this because spring and fall are those more transitional seasons and i think a fragrance like this that is so versatile fits more in the transitional months so i would not argue with somebody putting this on the top 10 summer list obviously fall um maybe winter i don't know but it could you could wear it in the winter but i think the perfect place for it is in the transitional months and of course we're talking about spring this stuff is just phenomenal it's so versatile such a dynamically well done fragrance that it's just one these is one of those ones you guys gotta have in your collection man it's from the house of judge off and again this is called 40 knots all right guys the next fragrance up on the list is no stranger to a spring list okay um everything about it screams spring it's from the house of of course bottom and nine this is called bleaker street bleaker street my gosh do i love this fragrance I love it so much. Uh, definitely one of the top 25 in my entire collection. And um, I always talk about this unique factor that you get with Blicker Street with the green nuances and the gourmand nuances. So it's like uh, that yin and yang that I always talk about. So they're playing off of the greenness and the more sweet gourmand aspects and kind of playing off one another. Uh, but you're going to get violet leaves in here, which again is to me the most quintessential spring note that you'll probably find in a fragrance. You get violet leaves, that fresh cut grass thing. You get some blueberry, cassis. You get some suede, again, kind of warm caramel. I love it, man. It's so good. This is from the House of Bond number nine, man. If you don't have it yet in your collection, you gotta at least get your nose on it. This one's called Bleaker Street. All right, now the next fragrance that on the list that come in, comes in at the number two spot, I think if you look up spring fragrances, Anywhere an article has been written, dictionary, whatever you want to do, you're probably going to see a picture of this next fragrance. It's just one that's hard to leave off. And I'm talking about top 10 spring fragrances, and you're talking about niche. It's from the House of Creed. It's in the name, guys. It's Green Irish Tweed. Green Irish Tweed, which I would say, again, is the, the captain of spring fragrances. This is spring. This is just spring in a bottle. And it's really hard to beat this scent DNA this time of the year. You have this, of course, lemon verbena in the opening. It gets powdery from the iris. Uh, of course, the violet leaves, which of course is that fresh cut green grass uh, kind of nuance, which makes it so good 
as far as notes are, con are concerned to wear uh, in the springtime. And you get a little bit of creaminess on the dry down with sandalwood. Classic, will never go out of style. This fragrance has been around since 1985 and it smells just as good today. From the House of Creed, man, this is Green Irish Tweet. All right, guys, and coming in at the number one spot, this fragrance blew my mind. And when I tell you what it smells like, you're gonna to understand totally why it made the number one spot on this list. It comes from the house of Electimus. This fragrance is called Auster. This fragrance is called Auster. This thing is phenomenal. Now, it reminds me a lot of, of course, what you guys that follow me now know is one of my top five fragrances in my entire collection. It may be top five. It's definitely top 10. Let's just, let's keep it there for right now. But I am talking about none other than Blue Sapphire. Now, you start, you're starting to see a correlation here between Electimus fragrances and Boulder City Victorious. And from what I understand, they are under the same umbrella. Uh, just like some other brands you see out there, Parfums, Marley, and Initio. This is the same thing, and this is Electimus' take on Blue Sapphire, and my gosh, is it good. It's not an exact one-to-one -one comp. It's very close. I would say about 90% similar, maybe 85 90% similar to Blue Sapphire. But what you get in here is some star anise in the opening. Uh, you're going to get some geranium. Now, there's no note of rose, but I think that geranium kind of gives that green, rosy nuance kind of to this fragrance. And... Uh, on the dry down, man, some cedar wood as well. This stuff is phenomenal. Guys, you got to smell this. You got to smell it. Of course, Blue Sapphire goes for 900 plus. You can find this one for around that $200 price point. And you would be well served to get your nose on this. It's from the House of Electimus, my number one fragrance for this upcoming spring. On the neat side of things, that is, this is called Austin. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you my top 10 niche fragrances that I look forward to wearing uh, this upcoming spring. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you take your time out, and uh, you do, and I sincerely appreciate it, man. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information and find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy. I'm the bow tie fragrance guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>